This is Daniel Ludvigson, Superintendent of Long Prairie Gray Eagle, and this is Thunder Spotlight, where we learn a little bit more about the people that it takes to reach each and every child that walks through our doors. On this episode of Thunder Spotlight, we'll be interviewing Officer Otterer and asking him a little bit more about the D.A.R.E. program in particular, where he works with students on how to say no to drugs, among other things, and ask him a little bit more about how we pair with the Long Prairie Police Department to provide additional safety. Welcome to Thunder Thunder Spotlight, Officer Otterer. Would you tell us a little bit about your organization? Yes, my name is Preston Otter. I work for the Long Prairie Police Department. I'm a patrol officer. Um, I also work as a D.A.R.E. officer. That's one of my specialized positions, so I've been a police officer now three years in, in April, so... And we're very happy to have the D.A.R.E. program, yeah. so can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so D.A.R.E. is a uh, 12-week officer-led series. I'm in uniform in the classroom with students. Uh, I teach 5th and 6th grade. This year I uh, graduated 170 5th and 6th graders from the Long Prairie Gray Eagle School District. Um, you know, we focus on you know resisting alcohol and tobacco, relieving stress, peer pressure, um, responsibility. We talk about um, getting help, bullying, and helping others basic curriculum you know just to you know get an officer in the school and uh, it's pretty universal all over the map too um, what's important that I like about dare is it's not so much you know just say no like it used to be drugs and stuff now it's changed to where it's dare is progressively growing although our time together is so short in that 12 weeks we have a lot of material to cover so we talk mostly about alcohol and tobacco, which are very important. They're always going to, you know, it seems like those are the things that are always uh, pressuring students. So D.A.R.E. has topics also on vaping. They have topics on, uh, you know, mental health. They got topics on depression. They got topics on opiates, all kinds of interesting stuff. So, yep. So if you were to sum it up, what's the thing you most hope the students got out of that experience? You know, even if I can help one student, that's that's a win to me, you know, help a student, you know, make the right decisions, um, be responsible, you know, be a good role model. That's another one of our big topics is being a good citizen. I think we need a lot more of that today. And that's my main goal is uh, reaching out and help as many students as possible. But that's our uh, goal is even if one, it helps one person. Awesome. That's great to hear. So um, are there are there other programs or things that we collaborate on that you'd like to talk about? Yeah, we... Uh, are very close with you know not just the elementary school but yet the high school on certain incidents you know if, if we needed an officers needed to interview and something you know if there was contraband brought to the school we're very uh, good at communicating with the uh, principal over there in the high school that's where I think I see most of our incidents unfold but you know if there's a there's a contraband that gets introduced into the school that is not allowed you know if we have any safety concerns for the students um, other stuff like that you know I once in a while, I'm out in, out front here on 2nd Street helping direct traffic. We have some traffic concerns that are being addressed, and things are uh, looking up when an officer is there to help, you know, guide people along we the way. We appreciate that. Yeah. So I like to be here just, you know, a good presence is important. And, you know. No, and uh, you, you guys help us with our um, training for uh, active shooters as well, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know when the last time they've had one there. Not since I've been an officer here, but I've... Personally, I've done other trainings with other departments. Um, and it's just familiarizing ourselves with the school in case a, a situation like that does or does happen. I think, you know, keeping the fire department, the police department, the sheriff's office, the school staff, and everybody on the same page, that's the biggest goal. Yeah, I know this summer um, uh, Officer Hansen did a refresher for us. So, mm-hmm. yeah, plans mm-hmm. in the future. Yeah. So um, how do you think our collaboration helps to keep a safe environment here at the school? I think it keeps us safe, you know, we don't ever, you know, not every day you see a police officer in the schools, but it's, you know, important to tell students why we're there, and it's helpful for parents to know, you know, we're not there, not everyone needs, you know, we're not always there to get everyone in trouble. You know, we're just a presence there in case there was a situation where something does happen. We're just eliminating that what if by us being in the school and making contact with students, being helpful, being outgoing, positive. Uh, would you say a good example is uh, I know sometimes we pair on uh, welfare checks where we yeah. might have not heard from a family or we're concerned about somebody's safety and uh, yep. we, we work with you to see if there's 
some something that needs to happen in order to, um, mm -hmm. for health and safety. Absolutely, I you know I've worked with you know the elementary staff. Hey, school got out early. I haven't heard from so and so's parents. Can you help us out? Absolutely, that's part of our job. We're always here to help out in any way we can. Our job is to serve the public. That's one way to do it. All right. Um, we thank you very much for working with us this yeah. year, officer, and. Um, we uh, look forward to continuing our partnership. Thank you. You have a good day. Yeah, thanks. This has been Thunder Appreciate Spotlight. Well, oh, what do you like about the D.A.R.E. program? Well, I learned a lot about what they do and what you should do in certain situations. Kind of the same as her, but I'm shy. So if, if somebody would have asked me to do something, I would have not had like no idea what to do. And they taught me how to say stuff back. You gave a speech, didn't you? Yeah, I was, I was very nervous. Did, did the D.A.R.E. program help you feel confident in doing that? Yeah. What do you think one important thing that you learned from the program that uh, will help you as you go out, on, out into the world? Stress. What about it? How to verify it and how you can stop it from happening. So you mean like how to identify it and then how to deal with it? Okay. How about hey, you? Not to do bad stuff. When I grow up, like, to not get intimidated to do bad stuff. Not to do bad stuff. Like how to make sure people don't get yeah. you. Did you guys have a lot of fun with the program? Yes. Okay. Uh, I think that the D.A.R.E. program really helped our kids because it exposed them to topics that they don't normally get to discuss in school. So I thought that was a really good thing. And it also allowed them to build a positive relationship with a police officer you know, he would come for class, but he would also stay with them for lunches, and sometimes he'd go out to recess with them, and it gave the kids an opportunity to see a police officer in a different setting, so I thought that was a good thing. And that concludes this episode of Thunder Spotlight. Remember, if you have suggestions for other organizations or programs you'd like to learn a little bit more about, leave it in the comments or send a direct message, and we might include it in our next Thunder Spotlight episode.